Good morning, student. Myself, Professor Dhawal Chandarana, and we are continue on unit number four of cyber security subject known as the introductions of cyber crime and low cyber crimes. As previously, we will discuss some basic fundamentals about cyber crimes, different law which are available in India, or we can say Indian IT Act 2000. As well as our previous lecture, we will discuss some basic fundamentals thing. which we are need to focus on a criminal behaviors cyber space and the different things through which a hacker can access our data so guys today we will discuss some points about introductions to incidents of responses before i will start anything about incidents response i will just give you the brief idea about incidents response is if some hackers hack our system so what will be the next steps or what before we are hacking our system what are the different steps is required to protect our personal informations personal computer as well as our personal network so it is the basic idea about the basic recovery which we need to man maintain before hacking and after hacking so we will start with the introductions about incidents of responses first we need to know what is insp incidents response incidents response is a term used to describe the process by which an organization handles the data breach or a cyber attack including the way the organization attempts to manage the consequences of attack or a breach or we can say incidents means as per the previously we discussed that what is the incidents response is is nothing but the some kind of facilities some kind of backup which we need to provide a security before a hacker can access our system so it is the nothing but the implementations methods or algorithm that can protect our data if some hacker can access our system ultimately the goal is to effectively manage the incidents so that the damage is limited and both the recovery time and cost as well as the collateral damage such as brand reputations are kept at minimum it is the regular idea where we need to implement in all over the cyber world because if we are provide a security after a data should be hacked by the hackers then it should be a time is gone through way but if we provide some of the layer security before the data should be generated in our personal computer or if we are discussing anything about the internet we take some security against our private data so it should be really good for us and if anyhow some hacker can access our data so we can directly recover which effectively and within the a small amount of cost so it is one kind of protection system we provide against our personal data personal computer and network before any kind of system should be hacked it is known as a incidents response organization should at a minimum have a clear incidents response plan in a place because in a organization there are lots of private personal and company oriented data it should be part of organization if we not clear the plan against some kind of hacking activity they are in a very big loss so they have a clear plan against if some data should be hacked by the hackers then what was the next procedure means if they taking some security against a particular data they provide the higher level security and then also if data should be damaged and they have uh, some backup so they can a uh, best plan against the hacking this plan should be defined what constitute an incidents for the company and provide a clear guided process to be followed when a incidents occurs means they have a clear idea about if some hacker can access a data then so what they are next steps means they have complete informations and guideline regarding all the data should be private one and should be publicly accessible through with the internet so through this we just learn that what are the different steps we need to implemented before hacker can access our system it is nothing but a incidents responses 
there are the six different steps for effective incidence responses means we just take uh, some other responses when a hacker can access our system so through this what are the different steps we need to take for providing a security against our private data start with the preparations the most important phase of incidence response is preparing for inevitable security breaches preparation help organizations determine how well their CIRT will be able to respond to an incidence and should be involved the policies response or we can say plan or strategy communications documentations determining the CIRT members access controls tool and training it is but the preparations about before a data should be hacked means if some employee performs some incidence response they have completely prepared with all kind of policies documentations determinants of CIRT members access controls tool and training through which they can deny a data which should be publicly accessible by the internet so first we need to know about a preparations again of private data which should be hacked by the hackers second identifications identification is the process through which incidents are detected because if we know the identifications about hacker it should be very easy to getting our data which should be hacked by the hackers ideally promotely to enable the rapid resources or we can say responses and therefore reduce the cost and damage so if we know the identity about the hackers we can directly access any kind of legal informations legal criteria and through this we can perform some legal activity known as a criminal activity and perform some cases based on a cyber laws for these steps of effective incidents response IT staff gathered event from the log file monitoring tools error message intrusions detection system and firewall to detect and determine incidents and their scopes means for the identification the technology will be built so many things like a log files through which we can track all the activity which should be performed on this particular applications monitoring tools we can say a wireshark it is one of the tools through which you can monitor all the network traffic which should be part of your organizations error message means something happened through this particular applications through this computer and through this network they can provide the alert message according to the unauthorized accesses next intrusion detections like antiviruses whenever some virus should be accessed through the usb data or you can say a uh, external hard disk they provide some notification about a uh, intrusions detections and the firewall which should be really discussed about previously that it is a one of the gateway through which they can monitoring ingoing and outgoing all the packets which should be provided lots of rules so the identification of the hacker it should be very easy if we are building all the thing in our computer system third thing containments once an incident is detected or identified containing it to the top priority the main purpose of containment is to contain the damage and prevent further damage from the occurrings as not it is a setup or we can say step number 2 the earlier incidents are detected the snuri they can be contained or minimize a damage means if we say is this we know about the damage then at that time the data should be damaged so we can't do anything but we protect our data which are not damaged till now so the containment means we protect our data which are not damaged by the hackers it is the first priority about any of the organizations as well as any of the victims it is the important note that all the sns recommended steps with the containment phase should be taken specially to prevent the destructions of any evidences that may be needed later for the prosecutions means we need to collect all the informations regarding hackers hacking different kind of tools different kind of faces and through which they can access our system 
if we have lots of informations regarding the hacking mechanisms methodology algorithm tools and personal identity about hackers then it should be very easy to reback or we can say reback our data these steps include shorter term containment system backup and long term containment means we take some backup again whatever the incident should be happen in our particular system as well as in particular organizations fourth step eradication eradication is the phase of effective incidents response that intent removing the threats and restoring affected system to their previous states means whenever we install any operating system they generate some checkpoints as well as if we are installing some viruses they create some checkpoints through which if the system it should be damaged on later on they can restore data till they are getting some checkpoints ideally while the minimizing data loss means we can generate the checkpoints through which our data should be protected ensuring that the proper steps have been taken to this point including the measures that not only remove the malicious content but also ensuring that the affected system are completely clean are in the main actions associated with eradications means the simply we says that eradications is the taking a continuous backup as per the requirement so whenever some hacker can access our data and they can damage it so we can through the backup we can easily retrieve our information without providing any money and wasting of our time so it is the most important concept about incident response is it is eradication fifth one it is a recovery as we know that whenever we working on a computer system or we can search software applications the recovery is the most prior thing whenever we getting some information from the end user side or if we are storing any of the data for the organization recovery never be compromised by the cyber secure testing monitoring and validating system while putting them back into the production in order to verify that they are not reinfected or compromise are the main task associated with these steps of incident response means as previously we find out that if we taking some backup on a regular basis so if hacking should be perform on particular data on a particular system we directly get some data from this backup this phase also include a decision making in term of the time and date to restore the operations testing and verifying the compromised system monitoring for abnormal behaviors and using tool for testing monitoring and validating systems behavior so through this all the thing if we are using some tool through this we can perform some security of a personal computer if they found some any kind of unnecessary activities unvalidate system behaviors and anything which should be harmful for our data we can directly restore our previous data it should be work as a backup so it uh, recovery it is also a part of a incidents response and the last steps it is a lessons and learn it is also a most important thing in for a personal life as well as in cyber crypt cryptography or we can say cyber space lessons learned is a critical phase of incidents response because it helps to educate it and improve the further further in incidents response effort this is the steps that gives the organizations that opportunity to update their incidents response plan with the informations that may have been missed during the incidents plus complete the documentations to provide the informations for further incidents as the lesson and learn if we are not providing any security against our personal data and some damage should be happened by the hackers so we learn through this activity and after the damaging it should be not recover then whatever data we are storing after this incidents first we take some security against the newest secure or private information so it is known as a lesson and learn in past whatever we are doing a mistake we are just learning from this and based on this past mistake we are updating our system so in future it should be not happen 
second time lesson learned reports give a clear review of the entire incidents and may be used during the recap meetings training materials for the new icrt members or as a benchmark for the comparisons because what are the different take steps will be taken in a past which should be help in the future if we are discuss with all the members which should be part of organizations so can directly implemented it and some another new idea sh should be happen with the current environment so we can protect our data betterly so guys it is the six steps through which we can protect our system before hacking should be ha happen as well as if hacking should be done then what we are learn through this a particular activity now we see the one video through which we can easily identify that what is the incidence response and what are the different steps which will be taken by the incidence team let's see one video you are clear about what we are learn in the incidence response steps which we are discuss as previously slides and through these videos we can easily say that what is a incidence response and if some hacker can access our data so through the incidence response members they can protect our system in a for features and whatever data it should be recovered by the hackers it should be provided to us so it is the way how we are learn a incidence response and what are the different steps to require to provide a security against our private information i hope you are like this video and understand about what is a incidence response thank you so much